what is up YouTube? This episode was actually really awesome to me. I eagerly awaited it to happen. Um, and mainly, I just really wanted to see Hit in action again. Um, he's, you know, he's been around. There's been some hope that he would fight Jiren or whatever. They've looked at each other a couple times. They've impl uh, implied, like, hey, maybe they're going to fight. That'd be really cool to see, but we did get to see him fight Dispo, uh, one of the Pride Troopers guys. He fights at light, light, you know, he's light speed. Which, if you highball some of the Dragon Ball feats, you would, most of the, like, if you talk, or if you watch, like, Seth, the programmers' videos and stuff like that, I mean, they highball Goku as Beyond Light a while ago, I'm pretty sure. Because there's been a lot of there's, there's been a lot of debates whether they're faster than light, and if you do some math, they're, they're pretty damn fa fast. So, why these faster than light speed fighters are so suddenly impressive, I don't really know. But I guess they're just trying to give uh, special kind of characteristical traits to these new fighters because there's so many different people and they can't all just be brawlers. So I, I, I get it. Uh, however, this episode. Animations immediately caught my attention. Uh, they did reuse it. I think uh, this is one that I'm thinking of. They reused it twice. Did not care. I've seen plenty of other shows do this, where they'll have like a really significant and high budget animation for a brief moment, and they'll they'll use it either in multiple episodes or they'll use it in uh, the same episode multiple times. Uh, GT used the same like low budget animation a couple times, and that's when I don't like it. But I, I don't really make such big deals out of it. This episode, though, it was really cool. Uh, Hit did use, he reused another animation that he had for Vegeta. Uh, it just had a different background, so I'm sure people are probably bitching about that because people like to bitch about everything when it comes to this show. I loved it. I liked the animations, whether they were reused or not. They were cool ones, um, and they're, they're, they're high quality ones. I love to see uh, Hit's kind of like character development and his interaction with Goku. I just could not wait for Goku to show up the entire fight. Although, if they want to take Goku off screen a little bit, I'll be completely okay with it because Goku has been fighting almost like every episode of this entire tournament. And to me, I'm like, Goku, you're gonna tire yourself out before you even get to Jiren. Jiren's just sitting there watching everybody. He hasn't, he's at 100% stamina still. And Goku's gotta be like, at least at 70 something percent by now he's transformed into blue multiple times i'm really glad that they explained that goku is trying to kind of conserve his stamina and he's used to this kind of stuff so maybe he's not burning through so much but i'm sure coming in and out of blue like that isn't just because i know in the manga when vegeta went super saiyan blue so many times throughout the universe 6 tournament they said when he fought hit he wasn't at his most potent potential and this is kind of making me think like, like if we're going if we're thinking manga then Goku's burning through that energy and he needs to fight Jiren who seems to be someone who's immovable they keep making him seem like he's super powerful I, I don't know what he does I thought maybe he was gonna have super heightened senses or something like that or speed but they've already used that card with this bow so I don't think that's gonna happen again so I'm waiting to see what kind of unique ability he's going to pull out. I really have no ideas. If you got some ideas, throw them in the comments below. Probably going to be something to do with his eyesight or something like that because he's got massive eyes. And I get a feeling it's going to be something to do with eyesight. Maybe he sees things before they happen, kind of like uh, Wrath from Full Metal Alchemist. Maybe he's got some kind of like god eyesight or something. I can see that happening. We'll see what it ends up being. One of the things, though, about this episode that I really appreciated and is my final point is that they really explained a lot in this episode. And, and that, to me, is very important in Dragon Ball because Super has lacked explanations on lots of things that they've... Su so, such simple things that somebody on the sidelines would say. Like when Goku went Super Saiyan Blue for the first time, even Master Roshi would comment and be like, Wow, he's stronger than Super Saiyan God. You know, small things like that. But when we were in the Goku Black arc and Trunks transformed, not a single person on any sideline said anything about what Trunks did. So we 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 have we have a name for it through like 
other sources, but we never got a name for it in Super. And nobody was impressed with this form either. And, and that, that kind of stuff really bothered me, and they did that some more. I can't think of any other examples off the top of my head, but that really bothered me. But yeah, no, I was really happy to see that they, they explained that, you know, Dispo was basically just using, uh, it, it said it was like he was using time skip back on him. He said that he was using his frequency because when hit, uh, uses his time skip, his muscles tense up and it makes a noise. So Dispo was able to react and counter. It was great. He got, hit got pummeled. I didn't like how he had, he, he lacked a lot of durability when he fought Goku in the tournament. Hit had like on all sorts of durability and suddenly Dispo was just hitting him with like basic punches and uh, he's pummeled. But Hit came back and did a lot of really cool stuff. I was impressed. Um, they also explained, hey Goku's, you know, he's using the Super Saiyan God form because it's faster than Super Saiyan and it consumes less stamina than Super Saiyan Blue. So all that was great. Loved it. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this episode. Just like as much as I did, or is it another one of those controversial episodes? I have not seen the community's like opinion on this episode yet. I I personally liked it. We'll see what the uh, com how the community reacts to you know all the feet defying and contradicting things that happened in this episode. I'm out there, guys. I'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe and then watch the rest of our videos.